Welcome everyone to German Tool Reviews. Today we have the Vera Toolcheck Plus Bit Ratchet Set. This is very similar in contents to one of the Vera Zyklops sets, but it is in a more compact form and includes a lot more bits than any of those other sets have. This set's primary feature is the Zyklop Mini Ratchet that is used to hold quarter inch hex drive bits. We'll get into that ratchet in a bit, but first we'll discuss the various forms for this set. The standard plus set is available in two forms, a metric and an imperial. The differences between the two sets are the socket sizes, hex bits, and a slightly different selection of driver bits. The Imperial version replaces the posi drive bits with Square or Robertson drive bits. It probably would have been nice if they could make a slightly larger version that included both the metric and Imperial sizes, but really the Imperial stuff is used in very few countries today. With Myanmar and Liberia announcing their intention for metrification, the United States will soon be the last country in the world not primarily using the metric system. There is also a version of the set without the small craft form handle known as the Toolcheck 1 SB. A fourth set known as the Toolcheck Automotive 1 also does not contain a handle and replaces some of the bits with the XZN and 5 lobe driver bit types. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. The only things in the box are the tool set and a flyer. Taking a close look at this set, they really packed a lot of stuff into such a small compact space. I do like how everything is very accessible with each piece being removable with no more than two steps. This could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on the environment you would use this tool in. Obviously it would be more exposed than a tool set in one of the Zyklops soft cases, but I believe that was part of the point for this set. There are a total of 39 pieces to this set not including the holder. The main feature of this set is the Zyklop mini bit ratchet that is housed on the top of the unit. This can be removed by sliding the frosted plastic to the right and then lifting it out. The quarter inch bit holder is also on the top and just slides out of the right side of the unit. The small Craftform 813 bit handle is held in place with a flexible loop that can be pushed over the top to remove the handle. To access the bits, there is a spring-loaded latch disguised as a Vera logo that is pushed up and allows the bits to rotate forward. There are a total of 29 positions for the quarter inch bits in this set, with 15 in the front row and 14 in the back row. The odd number allows for more visibility into the back row since they are slightly staggered from the front row. These are held in place with just a friction fit. The bits included with this set are the following. From the 870 series, we have a quarter inch hex to quarter inch external square socket. From the 857 series, we have the standard Torx bits for T10, T15, T20, T25, T30, and T40. Also included are the same sizes in security Torx form with the exception of the security T40. From the 851 series, we have a selection of Phillips and Posi drive bits. For the Phillips drivers, we have two Phillips number one, three Phillips number two, and a single Phillips number three. For the Posi drive drivers, we have one number one, two number twos, and one number three. From the 800 series, there is only a single slotted 5.5 millimeter bit. From the 840 series, there are hex bits for three, four, five, six, and eight millimeters. These bits all have the hex plus profile. A note on the Posi drive bits, these bits have a yellow coating that is what I presume is used to differentiate them between Phillips drive bits. Where I work, they actually have to hide the posi drive screwdrivers because they had some issues with people accidentally using them on Phillips screws, which could potentially mess the screws up. It looks like Vera's solution to this problem is to more positively differentiate the bit styles with a different color. I didn't notice the blotchiness of this finish until reviewing the video of these close-ups, so I'm not exactly sure what type of coating this is. It almost looks like they were dipped in iodine or something similar. As for the selection of the bits in this set, I probably would have liked to have seen more slotted bits than just the one that was included. I think if they dropped the regular Torx bits, keeping the security Torx, they could have added more slotted options and possibly a Phillips number zero bit. However, you could always just replace the bits that you don't anticipate using with your own quarter inch bits. The sockets included are all quarter inch drive from the HMA 8790 series. These are the color coded versions, which is a system that Vera calls taking it easy. The point of the system was to standardize their coloring scheme so that a specific size would have the same color across multiple product lines. The included sizes are 5.5 millimeters, 6 millimeters, 7 millimeters, 8 millimeters, 10 millimeters, 12 millimeters, and 13 millimeters. You shouldn't have any issues replacing these with another brand of quarter inch sockets, granted that they are 13 millimeters or less, as larger sizes may have some interference with adjacent sockets. On a side note, I've noticed that Vera sockets are generally a little bit deeper than most other brands. The 813 handle has the familiar Craftform design, but is much smaller than your normal Craftform handle. This thing is tiny, coming in only around 80 millimeters or three inches in length. It contains a small magnet that is intended to be used to hold the quarter inch bit holder. The design of this particular 889 bit holder is a little bit different from the ones 
They come with the standard Zyklops sets. This particular one is not spring-loaded, but has strong detents in the locked and unlocked positions. I'm not sure for the design change, but this system seems to be a little more positive locking than the other spring-loaded design. The quarter-inch drive adapter allows the sockets to be used in both the bit ratchet and the quarter-inch bit holder. Looking at the 8001A mini ratchet, this thing is also very tiny coming in at around 85 millimeters length. Examining the bit ratchet a little closer, it is actually kind of amazing that this thing has a switch reversing drive on it. Most of the small bit holding ratchets I've seen, like this one, would be the type that you flip over to reverse the direction. It does look like there's a small clip that can be removed to disassemble the ratchet. However, I learned my lesson about taking apart small ratchets that are in working order. So for now, I'm gonna leave this assembled. The documentation indicates that this is a 60 tooth ratchet. This would definitely be a good tool to use for low clearance screws. It looks like it would actually be a pretty suitable replacement for any offset screwdriver. But I don't see myself using this as a primary tool set. Its advantages are in the footprint that it takes up compared to the number of tools and functions that you get out of it. It would be a great set to keep in the glove compartment for those everyday maintenance jobs such as replacing a car battery. I would advise replacing the bits and sockets with those that best fit your application as most people wouldn't utilize every bit style included in the set. Hopefully you enjoyed that look at the Vera Toolcheck Plus system. Check out the link in the description to the full review. The KC Tool and Amazon affiliate links to this product are also in the description if you feel the urge to pick one up. Have a good week and I'll catch you guys next time.